All right, give it up for asking me to come to the stage, guys. Rob, Jesse. Let's keep this train moving. All right. Thank you. Please lower your expectations. How's everybody doing tonight? So I'm Rob, and uh, I'm Mexican. When Eli was up here earlier, he was talking about the different kinds of Mexicans. You guys remember that? It <laughs> sure, wasn't that long ago. I understand you're new but... Um, but he, he left, left out one type of Mexican. That's the kind of Mexican I am. See, I'm not like Chicano, Viva La Raza Mexican. I'm like Chipotle Mexican. I'm whitewashed. No habla espanol. I actually had a look at how to say that. Uh, I just started seeing someone recently. It's not what you think. I should have never played with that Ouija board. I think the ghost knows that I'm single, too. I mean, it feels bad for me. So I'll just be sitting at home alone, playing solitaire, or doing some other lonely activity. When I hear, when I hear, get out, go now, you're gonna die alone here. Uh, I like to think I'm a nice guy. You can't really call yourself a nice guy though, that's like calling yourself attractive. I do however feel like I have the right to call myself a nice guy. For the simple fact that every time a girl turned me down, she'd always start with the same saying, you're a nice guy and all, but... So after all the, all the torment that phrase has brought me, I'm taking ownership, damn it. Uh, I just moved into a new place. Yeah. Over in, uh, over in uh, the friend zone. <laughs> it's a decent place, but the landlord's pretty strict. <laughs> she just will not allow me to paint those walls. <laughs> she said I'm like a brother to her. I just hope she means like Luke Skywalker is the Princess Leia. <laughs> if they never found out, I would have taken it to completion. <laughs> She's playing with my emotions. I swear I feel like I'm at a point where my heart has blue balls. <laughs> I need to let some of this loving out. Um, I suppose there's a reason I'm single though. Uh, the, la the last girl I was with, but once got her a box of chocolates. I have the kindness of my own heart. I gave her the box of chocolates. She tells me, I don't eat candy. <laughs> she just got me like a stuffed animal or something. So I fed the chocolates to her dog. <laughs> and then I took him to the taxidermist. <laughs> There's a stuffed animal. <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> So I have this African-American friend. Um, he's like totally obsessed with his girlfriend. You know, waits on her hand and foot. He's at her every beck and call. But no matter what, I would never tell him that he's whipped. Just out of respect. <laughs> if you're offended by any of these jokes, I suggest you do like Sammy Sosa's complexion and lighten up. <laughs> When someone's all dressed up, they say they're dressed to kill. By that logic, I think we should be getting our fashion sense from infamous murderers. Jumpsuits seem never go out of style. Masks work too. Just show up to the masquerade wearing a hockey mask or the flesh of another human being's face over your own. That's how you do it. I guess police uniforms work too. Uh, are you guys familiar with the term, no homo? If not, it's a phrase people use after saying something that may perceive them as gay. Well, I want to put something out there, and that's no pedo. Is it no pedophile? Because I love kids. No pedo. You say, like, 
Your kid's so cute, I just want to pinch her chubby little cheeks. No pet him. <laughs> or she's going to be a heartbreaker when she grows up. No pet him. <laughs> or how many more years until she's 18? <laughs> no pet him. All right, that's my time. I'm Rob Jesse. Thanks, guys. <laughs>